Now, I never told anybody this story before. Inside this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how I sold more candy than the concession stand at my school. And this is all fast. I can't make this up, YouTube. So I made, I was able to actually make over $1,000 weekly consistently as I was in school at the age of 18 years old. But how I actually got to the point to sell more candy than the actual concession stand to where the concession stand teacher came to me and said, hey, listen, what are you doing different? And I replied, it's a secret. But it's no longer a secret anymore for anybody inside of this video. I want you to understand that what I'm about to get ready to tell you inside of here is going to be major on how actual businesses thrive and grow now. And I didn't realize this concept when I was actually selling the candy, which is so crazy. I didn't realize it at all. I was just moving. Oh, this is how I make more money. This is how I make more money. Backtracking on looking at it now, I realized the method that I actually put together that accumulated that thousand dollars every single week consistently. So without further ado, YouTube, I welcome you to how I sold more candy than the school's concession stand. Now, I got my first taste of actually selling candy when I was the buyer and not the seller. I actually would go to school and I would see everybody with their backpacks and they'll have it loaded with candy and they'll offer me some of the candy. i say it's only a dollar. Sneaker bar, Skittles, boom. I no longer eat Skittles because they say you are what you eat. But as I was going through that transaction, I realized, well, hold on, I need to become the seller instead of the actual buyer because being the buyer is shitty. I'm losing money every single day and I actually want candy. So what I did was I went over and I asked the seller exactly how can I sell candy? How did they get the candy? Started asking questions. The people that seek out in this world are the people that find. So I ended up finding the answer exactly where they got the candy from. Sam's Club in Costco. I said, well, never asked them how much money they made inside the day. I just went and went at it. Got my mom to take me up to Costco's, got me a load of candy, and I started selling it. The only problem is each day, I was only making about $42 in profit. With the other money, I had to go and get some more candy. So I was like, well, man, $42 a day, this is shitty. You know, I, I, you know, I gotta go get the candy. My mom gotta go drive to get it. All these type of different things that's happening, and I'm only making $42. So this is where the moment changed, where I tried to figure out, and this is something that involves with business also. When you are making money, and you are not thinking about how can I make more money, your money is going to eventually go down. But when you constantly think on more ways to actually make your business money is when you start accumulating more than you can actually hold. So when I got inside of that process, I realized, well, I only have eight hours a day inside of school. Eight hours to be able to actually sell candy with my candy bags. So I had two options. I can either decide to go in school and just accept the $42 a day, or I can duplicate myself. This is something that I really stand firm on inside of this YouTube channel, is duplicating yourself. What does that mean exactly? Well, if I only had eight hours inside of school selling candy, that's all I can get. We can't buy more time inside the world. But one thing I can do within those eight hours, I can buy somebody else's time. Somebody that wants to be able to make more money just like me would be happily paid. This is how I found out the formula of actually duplicating myself. Because I used to come to school with just one bag filled up with candy. And then when I learned this method of duplicating myself, I started off with three people, three of my friends. So this time going back to Sam's, I didn't just get one box of everything. I got three boxes of everything. So now what happened was we went to school and those eight hours that I actually had now had actually turned into 23 hours now. And I was making even more money within a day. So if I'm still thinking on how can I make more money, why don't I just duplicate myself even more? So this number went from three to four to five to six, all the way to seven people that are going through school selling these bags of candy. And next thing you know, your boy was riding on the hill with at least a thousand dollars a week. Now how this became an issue, because it was so good, it was so good living. I was 18 years old making a thousand dollars a week inside of school. I mean, what more can you ask for? But it caused the issue with the concession stand, which was the vice principal of the school. So when they came to me and they said, hey, uh, we heard that you the person that's selling candy. And I said, I don't know anything about candy. All this is off credit. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 
But when they came to me, he told me that, hey, listen, if you continue to sell candy, you can no longer play football, baseball, or you're gonna be cut off all the sports. Because honestly, I was taking over the school when it came to candy. And it was causing problems when it came to the concession stand profits. And when it comes to the concession stand profits, it's a problem. So unfortunately, I had to stop selling candy inside of school, but I'm definitely glad I did it because I was actually able to learn that one main piece that is now a part of my business right now and has it growing and thriving still. Being able to duplicate yourself. Understand, if you don't have, you're working hard inside of your job or inside of your business, understand that you can always replace your time and get more freedom. Replace your time and then get more free. Hopefully I gave you guys a lot of good gems inside of this video to be able to take off to your next level when it comes to you actually creating a business, being able to grow and expand your company. And the quote of the day I'm gonna leave everybody with, there's two type of people in this world, people who resist and people who embrace. The people that resist, they see something that they don't like about themselves. And honestly, if I freeze time right now inside of this video, while you're looking at it, just it freezes. You're stuck how you are right now. You have two options in order to be, and you don't like exactly how you look, how you feel, how your bank account is. You have two options. Either resist it and hide from it and say, hey, and just constantly beat yourself up about it or embrace it. Step out there. Yeah, this is, this is me. This is what's going on right now. And I'm correcting it. Embrace it. When you embrace it is when that energy comes up off of you, right? It exudes up off of you. Understand that one thing. It's your boy, Kai Gibson, AKA. Rick And we out, YouTube.